Well, some welcome news for many people with green thumbs. The U.S. Department of Agriculture has updated its plant hardiness zone map this week. This is a pretty big deal. There are some noticeable changes. It was only fitting that we sent our own Rose Schmidt to learn more. So Rose is here. Millions of gardeners and growers really rely on this information. I really appreciate that. <laughs> so if you garden, knowing your hardiness zone will help explain which plants grow well in your area. Now these changes don't mean Minnesotans should start growing palm trees anytime soon, but we can grow similar plants to our surrounding states. Actually what it does is it opens up the palette of plants that you can grow in Hennepin County. Here's some news gardeners can root for. More types of plants may be able to survive Minnesota's long winters, according to a new plant hardiness map released this week by the U.S. Department of Agriculture, using data from more than 13,000 weather stations. It was based on 30 years of information on extremes of weather. So this is the coldest temperatures. And we use it to measure or as a guideline for choosing plants for location. Julie Weisenhorn, an extension educator in horticulture at the U, says this is the first time we have a new map since 2012. 11 years ago, almost the entire bottom half of Minnesota was in zone four, but now part of the metro is in zone five. The lower the zone number, the colder it is. For example, people love Japanese maples. They're a really great accent plant. They have beautiful foliage, but we've always struggled with them in zone four. They just haven't quite made it. Now opening it up to zone uh, five and saying, you know what, you can probably grow Japanese maples now. She listed some other plants that are also hardy in zone 5B, like oak leaf hydrangeas and more choices in boxwoods and rhododendrons. She says choosing a zone appropriate plant is the first step as a gardener. But it also depends on the type of soil you have, what amount of light that you have, uh, the space that you have and how you plant the plant and how you care for it going forward. So all those things factor into it. As for why parts of the state changed zone number, she says some people ask if it's because our temperatures are warming slightly, but she says the technology has also gotten much more precise at pinpointing data for exact locations. Back to you.